Hey, my name is Robert Bobcat Buckley, and this is my 2021 in the bag. 2021 is my first year on Team Infinite, and along with Infinite Discs, I will also be representing Dying to Disc Golf and Art of Flight Disc Golf. All right, so I'll cut straight to it. I'll start with putters. I bag a lot of putters. Didn't used to be this way, but recently I've fallen in love with them. You know, moving, I committed to uh, getting better and I moved to North Carolina so that way I could throw you around. It is uh, beginning of March and it's about 60 degrees out today, so that's that's what we like to see. So, putting putters, Electron Soft Pilots. Uh, I putted with judges for five years, switched to pilots, never looking back. It's been about a year and a half now. Throwing putters, I have a lot of them. I recently picked up a D-Blend Tomb. It's a nice uh, baseline. It'll beat in to get a nice turnover. Right now, it's just kind of laser straight with a little bit of a left finish. The uh, Splatter S-Blend Tomb. This thing, if I crank on it, it goes laser straight with just a little bit of turn, and it finishes straight. Concrete Tomb. When I bought this thing, it was white. It's now pink. I think if I leave it in the dark for a little bit, it'll get white again. I think it color changes, which is really cool. This thing is beefy for a tomb. Tomb's supposed to be an understable putter, but I can rip this thing in a forehand. It holds it, finishes right. It's almost a borderline harp. Uh, a little bit less stable, which is goes to the next one, a harp. If uh, things keep going with the concrete tomb, the harp will be out of the bag in no time. This has been my go-to approach for like five, six years now. Um, I call it my Hail Mary, Hail Mary disc. If I'm ever in trouble, I just lean back, throw this thing up in a forehand anhyzer, and usually it's by the basket. Nobody bags a gavel, but Bobcat Buckley Bob's bags a gavel. Uh, this thing, 150 class putter, great for approaches, uh, longer jump putts if I'm feeling confident. However, you got to be careful with it because if you miss the chains, it's going like 50 feet deep. Love hate relationships. On to mid ranges. I don't bag a ton of mid ranges, and I need to. I'm gonna surely gonna dive into the infinite disc line. And hopefully, I find one I like. Anvil. This is my go-to forehand approach disc. Slight flex. I think the SE anvils are meat hooks. I have about five of them. The stock run came out. I didn't like how dumb it was, so I bought a bunch more. A couple of these discs nobody throws. This is a mint disc bobcat. Self-explanatory. When it came out, I had to have it in the bag. I bought it. I originally was going to hang it up on the wall. Felt it in my hand. I was like, wow, this actually feels good for a mid-range. And I don't like the way mid-ranges feel. So I made the bag. It's overstable. Uh, sort of like a verdict. Or uh, a little bit less stable than a Buzz OS. A little bit less stable than my anvil. Reactor. This is your typical straight... Uh, mid-range, Buzz, uh, Chariot, um, similar to those molds. The thing I like about the reactor is it holds a forehand line, or holds a forehand a little bit better than Chariot or the Buzz does, so that's why it's in the bag. Another disc that nobody bags, DGA Flex Tremor. Look at this thing. Super understable, super gummy. If it hits a tree, it just hits. It's great. Go into fairways, which I have a lot of. Like I said, I don't like the feeling of mid ranges a lot, so I have a lot of six and seven speeds. Um, the six and a half speeds by MVP and Axiom are great. Resistor is overstable. Crave, same disc, a little less stable. Relay, same disc, a little less stable. Least stable, middle, overstable. Infinite Disc Exodus. This disc is your T-Bird. Throw it, laser straight. Throw it in an hyzer, it's going in an hyzer. Throw it in a hyzer, it's going in a hyzer. Does what you tell it to do. This disc I am in love with. That's why I bagged three of them. This is the Aztec. I have three different stabilities. Mainly because I walked into another round disc golf, shout out another round, and this was on the used rack. I don't know who put this on the used rack, 
but you made mistakes. So your boy picked it up. This one's beat a little bit, throw it flat, turns over, just holds, doesn't roll. This one turns over, fades back. This one is a meat hook. Throw it at a forehand and a flex, comes back. Throw it flat, hyzers hard. Love the Aztec. More fairways. Innova Disc Thunderbird, the only disc from Innova that I have bagged in the last like six years. Uh, when I switched over to All Trilogy, this was the last disc out of my bag. It took me a year and a half to put it back in my bag after going to a mixed bag, and I have no idea why it took me so long, but this disc is so good. And actually, the Aztec is pretty similar, so Thunderbird might get, kicked, might get kicked soon. Sphinx, this is your understable uh, nine speed. I use it for rack and rollers mostly, uh, or long turnovers. Moving on to drivers. The Pharaoh, my lord. This should, this shouldn't, this shouldn't be elite. Uh, this disc should not be allowed. Um, I picked these up in uh, Las Vegas during the Las Vegas Challenge. After my last round, I should have picked it up early. I don't know what I was thinking. Went to the driving range and I threw 547 feet. Uh, that's far. Uh, usually my max distance, absolute max distance, is about 400 feet. So when I ripped this out and I grabbed the range grinder and I walked out and I hit my friend's bag from the middle of the field, it said 547. Um, yeah, things happened. This went directly into the bag. Those go far. This is also a pharaoh. It's a Sparkle Glow Pharaoh. Um, it's not the same disc. This is way more stable. Um, I can throw this at a forehand at a slight flex and it fights back. It doesn't come all the way back, but it does fight back. Throw it out at an Anheuser and it holds it, but it doesn't roll. Um, this is going to be probably one of my max distance drivers in the wind. The Emperor. Such a good disc. The Gummy C Blend this year this is what I leaned on all of LVC. Love it. This one's a little bit more stable. Throw this out of the flex forehand. So good. And lastly, the slab. I love forehand rollers. Slab's a workhorse in the forehand rollers. Also, really good at forehands and backhands in the headwind. This eye blend is like a complete different disc than this one. This one here. It's a color glow, big germ, jingle germ, meat hook. Throw this at a flex, it doesn't even want a flex, it just immediately comes out. This one here, throw it at a flex, it holds for a really long time, and then fades out. Throw it flat, the meat hook right. So, once again, I'm Bobcat Buckley. This is my 2021 in the bag. Proud to be sponsored by Infinite this this year, and it's going to be a great season.